Here's something about Joe Biden. He's actually attended way more White House cabinet meetings than most people. But today he did it for the very first time as the actual president of the United States. His first full cabinet meeting held today promoting the new jobs and infrastructure plan we were covering. You could see the social distancing measures. Only Biden spoke to cameras. It was quite a different vibe, to say the least, from Donald Trump's first cabinet meeting when other officials were called upon one by one to praise him. These cabinet members will represent me in dealing with Congress, engage the public in selling the plan, and help work out the details. Make America great again, and that's what we're doing, believe me. Greatest privilege of my life. Mr. President, it's been a great honor and blessing that you've given us to serve your agenda. Mr. President, it's a privilege to serve. I am uh, privileged to be here. Uh, deeply honored. Michelle Goldberg is with us, New York Times columnist. Michelle, we didn't just do that for the shade or the lols. Um, it actually relates to a serious point about governing. Um, which is that whatever energy or skill or whatever you want to call it Donald Trump had, it was endlessly rolled back into his own personal self, self-promotion, the thing that the founders and other government scholars have always been most worried about, that our public government powers could be abused for private gain. And here, uh, whether one agrees with Joe Biden's plans or not, I'm here to report them, people make up their own minds, it is clear that this cabinet meeting, like so much that he's been doing in these first 60 days or so, is about his view of what would be good for the U.S. Yeah, God. And I mean, it, it's it's easy to forget it wasn't that long ago, you know, sort of what a dystopian nightmare that was. Um, and <clears throat> I think, you know, look, today was a sign that this big jobs and infrastructure bill is going to be um, you know, sort of full court press for the next few months. Um, the American Recovery Act was a great accomplishment, but it was helped along by the urgency of the pandemic. The fact that, you know, sort of Congress knew they had to pass something along these lines. It's amazing that they were able to kind of stay as close to Biden's initial proposal as they were. This is going to be a much bigger challenge. And so it's interesting that he, you know, specified different people in his cabinet who are going to be responsible both for working with Congress as they craft this bill and also for selling different parts of it to the American people and making sure that the American people understand what's in it. And because it's such a multifaceted proposal with, you know, transportation and health care and all of these different aspects, you basically it, it makes sense that you would have different people in the cabinet who have authority over different parts of it. Right. And you, you walk us through again what he's using from his knowledge of the White House of administrations to try to do that. And then what the public's got to decide. It is expensive. Um, but they're arguing that it's a huge return on investment at a time when America has a lot of needs. Uh, Michelle Goldberg joining us on more than one topic. Thanks for being on the beat tonight. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.